Well, we're here to demonstrate to the shareholders that Ijibwani people have rights and those rights need to be respected. FMG have been abusing our rights for the past three years. We sincerely hope that some of the shareholders start taking some leadership and start directing their executives down the appropriate path that they need to follow. I'm long gone the days of people abusing indigenous people for their own personal gain. This is 2011. This government has endorsed the Declaration of Rights of Indigenous People. They need to also recognize that and respect that. And some leadership needs to be shown here. Andrew Frost obviously doesn't have leadership. We're hoping that the shareholders will show some leadership. The Indigenous people deserve a chance to be able to determine their own destiny and their future and make sure that their culture stays alive so that they can have something for their children. And that's the main thing that Aboriginal people want most is to make sure that their country is looked after and made sure that it's not destroyed the way that FMG and a lot of these other mining companies are doing. Oh, look, I feel that my rights as an Indigenous person have been abused. These people don't respect any Indigenous human rights at all. They come into our community, they cause trouble, they divide and conquer, they corrupt our people and then they don't show up the same courtesy to come up here and address their shareholders to notify them that what they are doing in our community is wrong. There's been no real fair negotiations. I don't think people would be so bold unless they were <laughs> Aboriginal people they were dealing with. It's pretty sickening. We don't want your money, we want our country, we want our land. What they said to us is that this is the deal that we've done with seven other groups. It's this one-size-fit-all mentality. They roll into our community, dividing our people and saying, look, this is the deal that we think is best for you. Take it or leave it, or we take on your land. What I want to tell the shareholders today is that that is a clear abuse on the rights of Indigenous people.